As David has been so busy of late filming future shows in glamorous locations, we have sent our intrepid cameraman Carlos Carubia to Kent. He is there to film Natch and for some pigeon tuition. The Crowman has taken him under his wing. First up, crop protection and location planning 101. Today we've, uh, we've got a few pigeons feeding, starting to feed on the right. They're feeding all the way around the outside on the oak trees, there's a lot of acorns. They're on the outsides of the field and they're just working their way in. And as you can see, the rape, it's up to my knees. The chances of trying to pick pigeons in this, are, it's going to make so much damage. In another month, after we've had a few frosts, it'll be a lot flatter, it'll be easier to pick them. But at the moment, it's going to be such hard work. So the idea is today, a lot of the birds are coming off the top of the hill there in the woods. I've been watching for the last two days. They come round and they come through and they're coming over some grass fields over the back there and then cutting through here. So we're going to go and sit on a grass field today and get on a flight line flighting them to here and well that's the plan I was hoping for a bit more wind but we, we haven't got the wind today that I was hoping for but it is what it is if I can shoot 30 pigeons today I'll be happy it looks like the skies are full of pigeons but the crops at the moment are not suffering and now's the time to get on top of them really because give that another few weeks and once the acorns and everything's cleared up they'll be on the rope hammering that so most years is that you either get a lot of acorns or none at all but this year we just got little pockets here what the frost didn't get so hence the reason there's quite a few pigeons here because the frost didn't get the oak trees just here in a couple of little areas down the edge of the rape it was sheltered but they've cleared them up they, there's so many pigeons that have been here they, they don't take long clearing them up so well, I'll shoot, if I shoot some later on I'll open the crops up and you'll see how many acorns one pigeon gets in his crop. He sets up the hide and pattern. Truck full of gear, all fresh pigeons that I've shot in the last couple of days now, the, now it's getting a bit cooler, I'll usually store them for a couple of days. So real pigeons are always better than decoys, but if you can't do it, there's, a, there's so many different decoys out there. There's silla socks, there's enforcers, they're all good decoys, they all work well to start the bag up, but I always like real ones. So. It's quite a wide flight line here, it's probably about 100 yards plus wide. I'm going to stick it myself close as I can to the middle, put a rotary down on my left, put a rotary on my right and just put a spread of uh, real pigeons out on sticks and cradles so, and go from there. The only problem is it's in the shade, which the pigeons are flying into the sun, so they might struggle to see it. That's why I'm putting a lot of movement out here, so they home into something um, as they're coming through. This time of year, I've done all, all my work's finished. All the time there's pigeons about, I'm about. I can't get enough of it. I just love pigeon shooting. It's a job as much as anything. I've probably got two there, no, probably 1,500 acres of rope to look after this year. So uh, when they're on the acorns, you can make some good bags. But later on, you'll be sitting on a rape field to shoot probably 20 pigeons if you're lucky. Now comes the most important lesson. Carlos, pay attention and try to keep up. With a slight pause for breath, Crow needs to tidy up the pattern. When you get a pigeon laying on its back with its breast up, they hate that. So it pays to just keep tidying up all the time. Um, but yeah, it's just keeping the pattern tidy really. It takes a couple of minutes, but it can make a difference. There's a couple more birds coming into the decoys. I've got one up there, I've got a couple up there I want to pick up. Just have a bit of a tidy up. Just make a bit more of a pattern so they've got more to look at. It's clouded over a bit, which is quite nice. Uh, they're tending to see the decoys a little bit better, which is handy. Go on, get on, get on. Get on. This one, Carlos. Not only has the Crowman got a shiny new cameraman to test, he has a slab of fibre clear pigeon cartridges and his F-16 back from the German factory with a few adjustments. Uh, it's been away for full service. Had an extension put on the stock. They've taken two mil off the top of the cone, so the day's first day I've used it. But yeah, I'm getting the hang of it now, which is quite handy. It's been a day of change today. 
I usually shoot plastic wads, but today I'm using fibre. Right. Yeah. It seems to be going alright, just tighten the choke up a little bit and they seem to be working alright. But as, we, as you can see we're shooting over grass today and earlier on we had some cattle here and it just having the wads laying about out there, the cattle can pick them up, it's, it's, he makes hay out here and silage, so it all gets into the feed. So shooting on here it, it makes sense to shoot fibre and I'm shooting it alright but I intend to stay on fibre anyway, keep shooting fibre. Well, I think it's a case of having to change them, doing them a bit for the environment and all that. Had a few silly misses, but I blame getting used to the new gun, that's what I'm saying anyway. Or my new cameraman, Carlos. <laughs> I've got to blame someone. The fibre wads may be a little louder, but the extra noise is not scaring the birds away. Crow has an interesting theory why the occasional pigeon makes it through. He reckons they've been tooling up on hardware too. Of course, it's not his fault. Showing you what they've got in their crops as they're coming back. You can see where the pellets have gone in the front of this one. It did kill it as it goes. But I'm just showing you what it's got to go through before it gets to meat. It's got like a man-made. It's got like a bulletproof vest there. It's got all that lot to go through. Beech nuts and acorns. So are those acorns. Another one. That's what you solid. There you go. Pellet gone, gone into its crop. Unbelievable how many they get in there. When they, when they cleared up the, the acorns and beech nuts, they'd be straight on this rake. They just start on the tram lines and many outsides for a start and just work their way in. But no, we've had a great day. So, verdict crow? No, of course not the birds, gun or cartridges. What did you think of Carlos? Oh, it was an awesome day, awesome day. Good company as well. Better than David. He brought food. David doesn't bring food. <laughs>